welcome back to the vlog. I am so excited to chat with you guys today. I feel like it has already been such a good day. Oh my gosh. Okay, you wanna know why it's such a good day? Because I don't feel bloated. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys have been like on this journey and kind of watching like the most recent video that went out that was like the changes that I've been making, I'm sticking to the leanest and lowest categories of my lean and green meals, trying to minimize my condiments. I'm trying to go all in for a big event that I've got going on in April and I am so excited by all of the people that have been reaching out telling me that they're doing the same thing and they're excited to like take on the challenge and all of you guys leaving supportive, amazing comments. Like, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and I am just so honored that you have chosen to take your journey with me and we can do this together this year because I'm telling you big things are coming in 2022 and I am so excited to see what that really looks like for all of us. So today has been good. If you guys saw my last vlog, it was rough. <laughs> like this leanest and lowest category of your lean and green meals, meaning like the leanest proteins, the lowest carbohydrate veggies, all of that, it is a lot of food and it has been like rough, but today, today, it is Saturday, January 15th. Today is the first day I have woken up not bloated, like not feeling like I'm already stuffed, right? Like I have been waking up feeling like I have had so much food, I cannot eat another thing. Like when you're choosing from the leanest protein and the lowest carbohydrate veggies, you get so much more of it that it's like, I can't stomach this. Like I've been having to literally split up everything throughout the day just to get it in and today Day, I feel like my body is like finally getting the hang of it. So like my body is like, okay, Ashley, we understand that this is a thing now and we're gonna keep moving forward with it as if this is what our body has been needing this whole time and now we understand how to react to it. I feel like my body and I are like more becoming one in this process, so it's awesome. I'm feeling good. I have already had my first feeling of the day, which was my golden chocolate chip pancake because I need that to start my life. I feel like I, feel like I start my day on the best foot if I start with a golden chocolate chip pancake. Waffled it in my dash for just a minute, three tablespoons of water, super fluffy and delicious, and obviously made my Nespresso coffee. I had, I've been trying out the, Mal the Malozio pods, those have been good. They're a little darker of a roast than I was initially expecting. I think I'm more of like a blonde roast, but still good. I think they're gonna totally do the trick for at least however many more of them. I think I have like 30 pods, so we're gonna be doing Melozio for a while. Also did three tablespoons of my Cinnamon Swirl Unsweetened Dairy-Free Nut Pods for one condiment. That was my full breakfast, and then I made fueling number two, which was my Caramel Macchiato Shake, and I blended it all together with some major superfood ingredients. So I smash out a lot of stuff in my shake, and the reason I do that is because it's kind of a way for me to get it all done in like as big of a shot as I can. I do my Caramel macchiato shake, eight ounces of water, a handful of ice, a cup of my greens. So I do a cup of baby spinach. You don't taste it. It makes your shake green, but you don't taste it. You're fine. It's going to be fine. It still tastes like a caramel macchiato shake. We're good. It's just green. Cup of greens for one green during the day. I still have two more that I need to have for my actual lean and green meal. Three ounces of my non-fat Greek yogurt, which is going to cut out a quarter of my leanest protein for today. So I still need to have three quarters later on, but at least a quarter of it is done. That's good. That was just into my shake and it made my shake super creamy and like honestly just more, it tastes more like almost like a milkshake when you have more of the dairy in there. So I measured out three ounces of my non-fat Greek yogurt and I put in a teaspoon of my flaxseed oil. So a teaspoon of my flaxseed oil is one healthy fat. I like to do flaxseed oil just because it is one of the healthier versions of your healthy fats. I'm trying to like kind of lean towards the top of those lists too. Super good for your skin. I've explained this on my channel before. If anybody's like questioning the flaxseed oil thing or you're thinking about incorporating flaxseed oil, honestly, it's really, really good for your skin. I am like also on a skin journey right now and trying to make sure I'm using like the healthiest products and I'm being really good to my skin and I'm like kind of cleansing from the inside out. And a big thing that I've talked about on my channel is like, you guys have probably noticed I don't eat a lot of fish. Like fish is kind of not my jam. Like I can do it, but it's like my, not my favorite. It's more the consistency and the smell. Like I just can't get past that. So the thing with not eating fish is you don't get a lot of those essential oils, like omega threes, like fish oil, like things like that. So because I don't eat a lot of fish, I've been incorporating flaxseed oil into my shakes because those do have a lot of omega threes and are really, really good for like heart health, skin health, gut health, like everything 
everything. So I've been putting that into my shake. Don't taste that either. Literally just tastes like a caramel macchiato shake. We're totally good. That's gonna count as one of my healthy fats. And because we're choosing from that leanest category of proteins, I need two healthy fats for today. So I'll get in my second healthy fat later on today and I'll show you guys when I do it. Was that not a mouthful? Was that not everything that you probably didn't even need to know, but I'm giving you guys all the info anyway. I am already on to fueling number three. This is gonna be a continued what I eat in a day vlog on my Optavia 5-in-1 plan for anybody here who is starting their Optavia journey or continuing strong with me or moving forward towards your goals in 2022. Welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Let's do this together. Remember that if you are just now starting out on your journey, I highly recommend go checking out some of my earlier videos earlier on in my journey. It's going to keep things as simple and easy as possible. Right now, I'm switching things up because I'm kicking things up a notch and I've got a lot of protein that I need to get in and a lot of greens that I need to get in. Keep things as easy so that you don't have to think about it in the first phase of your program. If you want to kick things up a notch later on, feel free to do this. Do whatever is best for you. Stay in touch with your coach and make sure that you've got really everything that you need to be successful, even on your hardest days, even on your days when you like don't have anything to eat and didn't buy groceries and whatever, find something simple. I work from home. I'm a health coach. I'm currently residing here in Dallas, Texas on adventures from A to Z with my boyfriend. We're hopping around the country right now. And this is the best possible plan for me to shed the last couple pounds, to move forward towards my health goals and really, really rock it towards a big event that I've got going on in April. So that being said, we're going to move on to fueling number three. And this is a big deal, you guys. All right. I've been waiting to film this so that we could do this together because this is a really big deal. So who else has heard that the sweet potatoes are back in stock? Okay. Let's chat about this for a second. Honey, sweet potatoes with brown sugar and cinnamon. You guys, these have not been in stock the entire time that I've been with Optavia. I have never tasted them. I'm so excited to taste them. I can't even tell you. And I've had these in my pantry for like two days now. Like we placed a small order and I'll be honest, we placed a small order so I could get these. <laughs> like these came back into stock like right after I had just placed like a big order with Optavia. But I have to try them you guys. Like literally it is making my heart hurt knowing I don't know what the sweet potatoes taste like. So we're going to try them together today. And I cannot wait to try them with you guys because if anybody else has been dying to try the sweet potatoes, that's what we're going to do today. I have been waiting. They've been in my pantry. I have not tasted them. I haven't even opened this box yet because we're going to try them on camera together and we're going to see what we think. So whenever anybody starts out on their Optavia 5-in-1 plan, the first thing I always tell, especially the girls in my Revive Tribe to do, is make all of the fuelings based on how it says to do it on the back of the box. Try it the normal way first. Try it in the way that it was meant to be consumed, whether that's three tablespoons of water or putting it in your shaker or whatever. Try it based on how it's supposed to go the way that it says on the box, right? If it doesn't taste right to you that way, or you want to switch things up later on in your journey, maybe like a month in, you want to start trying out some hacks, trying out some fun ways to like incorporate healthy fats and condiments and whatever you can do that. Just make sure that you always give it a shot first, the way that it was meant to be consumed. So that's what we're going to do today. And I honestly have no idea how to even make these. Like I said, I've never had these before. When you guys to go on to place your order and you want to try out the sweet potatoes, these are on the select section of the site. The essentials is probably where you're currently ordering from. Select is like a couple dollars extra, I want to say. And I mean, honestly worth it. They've got some really great options there too. This is on the select and it comes with seven fuelings. Every mini box that comes in your big box of your premier order is going to come with seven fuelings. So when you do the math, you have to have like, I think it's like 22 boxes or something for a full month of fuelings. I am going to be trying this one out today. Oh, it's like a full orange color, which is cool. And we're going to be doing it says pour half a cup of cold water into a microwave safe bowl, add the packet, and then microwave on high for a minute and a half. Then let stand for three and a half minutes. Okay, I am going to make this completely according to the box based on what it says to do. I'm going to do exactly what it says just to see how I like it that way. I have a feeling I'm going to want to waffle these. Like, can we talk about a possible sweet potato waffle? That sounds freaking delicious, but I'm going to resist. I'm going to try them this way first, just to make sure that I know how I like it and how I want to move forward making it. I encourage you guys to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and make these for fueling number three, and we're going to make them together and we'll do a lot live taste test to see what we think. Let's get some sun, baby, it's time to go. All we need to put on is the radio. I can feel the heat is rising and the beat is hypnotizing. Oh, oh, oh. No, we run the show. Okay, it's done. 
three minutes. Technically, I could have it sit for up to five, but whatever, I've been letting it sit for three minutes, exactly according to the directions on the box. And I'm telling you guys, I didn't even lick the spoon, okay? I have not tasted this whatsoever. I have not even licked the spoon after I mixed it. Nothing. This is gonna be my real first time taste test of the honey sweet potatoes with brown sugar and cinnamon. I will give you my full review. Honestly, it smells really good. It definitely smells like sweet potatoes. It smells delicious. The texture, honestly, I mean, let's be honest, probably kind of looks like baby food, but it does look like sweet potatoes. So all I know is if I like this, this is gonna be a game changer. Like who doesn't like a good sweet potato? So I've yet to try this. I hope it's cooled down. It really does smell good. Somewhat baby food, but really does smell good. Okay, so I've got one bite here. We're gonna do a live taste test. I really hope this doesn't just burn my mouth. Can you guys see? It's like still smoking. Let me see if I can like, maybe I'll do a smaller bite. We'll do a smaller bite just so it's not like gonna burn my mouth. Okay. Honey, sweet potatoes, review. Let's see what we think. The aftertaste is there. When you first taste it, it tastes kind of savory. And I know with honey, sweet potatoes, brown sugar, cinnamon, I'm expecting something sweet. It tastes almost like buttery in the beginning. Let me see. Yeah, almost like the regular potatoes in the beginning, like the roasted creamy garlic smashed potatoes. But after you finish the bite, it has a hint of sweetness, which means if we waffle these, it's gonna be so much better. It's gonna be like crispy on the outside, gooey on the inside, and it's gonna like harness all of the sweetness. Okay, I would say these are a win. Honestly, if you are going back and forth on ordering the sweet potatoes, give them a shot. Honestly, I feel like there's so much you can do with these, so much that can be like harnessed into the sweetness. What do we think out of 10? Hmm. I feel like I'd give it a six or seven out of 10. And that's just, that's just being made the way that they're supposed to be made, right? Maybe if they're waffled. I'll give you guys my updated score once they're waffled. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these. I really think they're worth a shot. I would definitely try them out. Comment down below if you've tried the sweet potatoes or if you're going to try them and what you guys think. I would love to know. I definitely will be reordering because I do feel like there's a lot of potential with this, even though I sort of feel like I'm eating baby food. <laughs> I think it's good. Definitely worth a shot. Let me know down in the comments if you guys try this out. I am gonna go ahead and finish this up. Zach wants to go grab a coffee really quick. I'm probably not gonna get anything because once again, hashtag goals. If I need a coffee, I can make coffee here with my approved ingredients. And I am gonna meet you guys back here when I'm probably gonna make my lean and green meal. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the rest of my day, bring the camera. I'm excited to do this with you and excited to keep moving forward. Thank you all so much for so much love and support and all of your great feedback on my initial vlog showing you guys the changes that I'm making. If you guys are in this for the long haul with me and your goals taste better than sweet mashed potatoes, let's go. I am so excited to do this with you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to bring the camera along and let's get started. Maybe I'm a bird following the seasons. This is what I've learned.
Just to backtrack, I already had fueling number four, which was my dark almond coconut covered whatever bar. Like, I don't know what that is. It's got so many names, but it is so good. Like, I seriously feel like that's like a treat. I am obsessed with that bar. It's like my favorite bar now. So had that with, I had half a cup of egg whites, which counted as another quarter of my lean, leanest. So that was knocked out. And then now it's time for my lean and green. So I made my pound of 99% fat-free ground turkey. I measured out 3.5 ounces of it here with two tablespoons of my light balsamic vinaigrette super yummy I just mix it all together and I honestly think it tastes really good like that like you don't need to season the meat or anything because the dressing kind of does it for you and obviously I have some left over so I have some ready to go for tomorrow whenever I need to do that and I made my kale chips so if you guys watched the last vlog I showed you guys kind of how I do this I'm telling you this is so many greens for me to get in for the day so being able to do two servings of my veggies right here is awesome they literally are just like chips like seriously you guys Listen. Pretty cool, I'm just saying. And honestly, I finished this like really fast, like because it's crunchy and it's like kind of shrunk a little bit, it's really good. So this is two servings of kale to count as my two last greens for the day. This whole meal is gonna conclude my healthy fats, my greens, and my leanest protein for the day. So this is gonna be done. After this, I just have to have one feeling and we're gonna knock it out. Zach and I are going to bust out our next Marvel movie. We are going through all the Marvel movies again and I just love it when we do this because I love the Marvel movies movies and I feel like they literally just bring back so many good memories. So we are on Captain America next. We have finished up Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, and Thor, obviously. And then we're going to be doing Captain America next. So probably going to pop that on. Um, I need to get a little bit of editing done next, um, but this is going to be my leaning green for today and I'll check back in with you guys for fueling number five. Here's what I like. Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes. Laughing with my friends under the sky. Following our hearts, so then we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high 